Hi guys, it's Valerie in here. I'm out of the garden today. I'm in my design studio and I just thought I'd share a quick tip with you about measuring for your inside mount window treatments. Now, one of the reasons why I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to avoid problems. I have worked for a big box store before in the decor department with all the window finishes, flooring finishes, and I have had customers come in before and their window treatments, when they order custom window treatments, because there was a discrepancy in their measurement, what they got from what the window really is, they would have to return and most times they would have to pay some type of a surcharge if the window treatment could not be adjusted in the store okay so i want you to avoid save yourself some problems and watch this video before you measure for your inside mount window treatments now i have a window diagram here when you're measuring i would suggest measuring all the time practice measuring your width first practice measuring your width and then your length your width and then your length so your width goes across your length your length your width always practice measuring your width first because in that way you will not get your measurements confused because you know the first time you always measure your width okay so let's get on with this what i want you not to do is to measure the top and settle with that measurement neither do i want you to measure the middle only and settle with that measurement neither do i want you to measure both the top the, the top and the middle and settle with those measurements neither do i want you to just stretch up from off the ground with a window above you and measure just the bottom because there could be discrepancy in your window you do not want to assume that your window is a hundred percent square what you want to do instead is to measure your width across the top second measurement across the middle third measurement across the bottom now if there's any discrepancy take for example the bottom is 55 inches the middle is 55 inches and the top is 54 and 7 eighths which measurement would you take you would go ahead and take the smallest measurement why would you take the smallest measurement you would take the smallest measurement because although the bottom is 55 and there's a discrepancy which the top is 54 and 7 eighths if you just measure the bottom and you go into the store and you give them your width as being 55 inches then you're going to have a problem because when you go to install your window treatment it will not be able to fit up here because up here is slightly the top is slightly narrower than the bottom and that is why you always measure in three areas the bottom the middle and the top and that's for your width okay now you do the same for your length you measure the right side you measure in the middle and you measure the left side you always take three measurements as i said before don't assume that your window is a hundred percent square so always do your three measurements width first length next and then you take your smallest measurement from your width 
and your smallest measurement from your length. Okay, the smallest measurement ensures that your window treatment will fit on the inside. Your biggest measurement could throw you off so that your custom window treatment does not fit. And then what do you do next? Sometimes you can't even return it and you have to stand the loss. Okay, but what I would suggest is if there is too much discrepancy, if you live in an older home, like myself, and there is too much discrepancy on your inside, you you probably will want to go with either on the frame mount, so you mount your window treatment on the frame, or outside mount, so you mount your window treatment, install your window treatment outside, just outside of the frame, okay? So you make that call but remember never measure only in one spot neither for your width nor for your length always measure bottom middle top or top middle bottom and then right side middle left side and take your smallness measurement for both your width and your length okay or what you could do is just do a little diagram like this write your measurements down on each one of these lines and take the little diagram to the shop that's going to do your custom window treatment okay so i hope that's helpful for you until next time please comment let me know what you think about the video let me know if there's anything i can do to make anything clearer for you if it's not clear enough and thank you so much for subscribing for those of you who haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or maybe not consider but please subscribe please hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching